Police in South Daytona continue to investigate a tragic crash that claimed the life of an eight-year-old boy. His 10-year-old sister was critically injured and the children's mom remains hospitalized. The vehicle ran off Reed Canal Road last night and into a canal where it submerged. West News Claire Metz joins us live from that scene. Claire, the family was heading to a grandmother's house. Yeah, that's what we understand, Stu. So this is just a nightmare for everyone who knows and loves this family. We do understand they are local to the South Daytona community. And as you can see, folks have already brought flowers over to that scene. Now, police think the driver, who is the mother identified as Sashane Brown Steneth, hit a curb at a curve on Reed Canal as she headed westbound, lost control of the vehicle, careened across that road and into the water there. 75% of the vehicle was submerged. Rescuers got on scene in under four minutes and discovered the sedan on its roof. First, bystanders were in the water trying to break windows, then police and firefighters. Come from the back because the suction from that water is going to go straight inside. Who's got a punch? They were able to quickly determine that there was no way to extricate those victims unless they flipped the car over. One, two, three. It took the might of all seven first responders and at least one of the bystanders to flip the vehicle over. The canal at that point, police say, three to four feet deep. All three victims were pulled out and rushed to the hospital. The driver, Ms. Brown Staneth, and her 10-year-old daughter, Jordan A. Lewin, survived, but with critical injuries, mostly due to water ingestion. The driver's eight-year-old son, Jordino Staneth, was pronounced dead at the hospital. In the light of day, you can see where the driver hit the curb on the curve. Police don't believe speed was a factor, but the impact propelled the vehicle. A witness who called 911 watched helplessly as it happened. I was coming east on reaching on my seen to come over, over top of over top of Salt Road Bridge and flip upside down. Police say there is good signage about the curve in the road, but if anything more can be done to make it safer, they want to look into it. Maybe even a conversation too about raising the sides of those bridges a little bit to maybe prevent a car from being able to uh, to climb up that bridge and up and over. Back live now, the children attend South Daytona Elementary School just down the street, and we understand there were grief counselors there to help their classmates. Now, the mother was able to talk to police at Halifax Health today, and that is encouraging. Her daughter remains in critical condition at Shands Hospital, Gainesville. We're live in South Daytona, Volusia County. Claire Matz, West 2 News.